Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library, and welcome to Wednesday Read Aloud. Today, we're going to be reading If I Had a Griffin by Vicki Van Sickle and illustrated by Kate Atkinson. Now, this story is a great quick introduction to all kinds of magical animals. Can you see anything on this page? What do you see here? There's a chupacabra. Oh, do you know what this one is? It's a jackalope. There's all kinds of crazy animals in this story. Let's see what happens. If I had a griffin. Last week, I got a hamster, my first and only pet. He mostly eats and sleeps and hides and gets his shavings wet. If only I could have a pet with strange, exotic powers. I know that I'd find lots to do to while away the hours. If I had a unicorn, I'd braid her silky mane. I'd make her silver horseshoes that tinkled in the rain. We'd prance through fields of ponies and, oh, on posies <laughs> and nibble nectarines. I'd shine her horn with candy corn to get its starry gleam. Unicorns are pretty, but they're also very shy. Do you see it hiding under the bed? It's so shy. On second thought, I'd like to give a hippogriff a try. Do you see this hippogriff? Do you know what a hippogriff is? This one is part eagle, here's the eagle up here, and part horse. It has a horse for a backside. You can see it has a little horse tail back there. A hippogriff needs lots to do, like run and jump and fetch. I take him to the dog park to give his wings a stretch. What do you think? Do you think that'll go well? Though a hippogriff is tons of fun, the dogs might find him scary. And when it comes to playing ball, well, things could get quite hairy. Look how scary he looks. <laughs> I think he's taking the game too seriously. Perhaps I'll get a Sasquatch with burly, curly fur. But then I'd spend three hours a day attacking snarls and burrs. Oh, look how messy its hair is. And my hair gets really messy some days. Can you imagine having long hair over your whole body? That'd be a lot of work to brush out. If I had a griffin, I'd love each flashing feather. But she'd need flying every day, regardless of the weather. Oh no, look at them flying through the storm. Oh. oh, look, a sea creature. If I had a kraken, we'd swim and deep sea dive, but I would need a scuba suit in order to survive. Do you think any of these pets seem like a good idea? They're pretty fun, but they all look like they'd be really, really tough to take care of. If I had a dragon, oh, if I had a dragon with a temperamental snout, uh-oh, I'd need a fire extinguisher to put her sneezes out. Uh, uh, uh. If I had a Chiron, oh, look at the Chiron. It's a kind of dragon. If I had a Chiron, oh, Chirons need a field of grass at least an ocean wide. And jackalopes need sturdy reins for bumpy, jumpy rides. Phoenix need a chimney nest that's smoke and fireproof. And manticores need special floss for each and every tooth. Harpies are too screechy. Chupacabras like to bite. Fairies play too many tricks, and Kelpies hate the light. Basilisks is slippery 
And Chimera likes to scratch, oh no. Mermaids brush their hair all day and sprites are hard to catch. Look at all those animals. Would you want to have any one of these? What do you think? Which one's your favorite? Perhaps a hamster's not that bad. In fact, look, he's rather sweet. I love his furry belly and his teeny tiny feet. He may not be a griffin or a creature from the sea, but I am his and he is mine. And that's enough for me. The end. What do you think? I think really a regular pet is a good idea to have. Those other pets seem like so much fun, but who would they be tough to take care of? The end. Oh, and look, there's a special secret page on the back. What do we have here? Is that hamster really just a hamster? It looks like it's something else. What do you think we would call this animal? Hmm, it's part hamster. Is it maybe part bat or dragon? Maybe if it was a dragon hamster, it would be a dramster? <laughs> Could we call it a dramster? Or what kind of antlers does it have? Could it be part moose? A moose and a hamster. M mooster? Ham ha hamper? <laughs> what would you call it? That is the end of If I Had a Griffin. The end. Thank you so much for coming and listening to a story with me this week. I hope you have a wonderful week and see you for more stories next week. Bye-bye.